Another uh, analysis that we need to take into account when it comes to our non-US residents when we do their estate and tax planning is, do we have a treaty with our home country? We have to do, uh, do a search to see, does a tax treaty apply? So generally tax treaties override the Internal Revenue Code with respect to the citizens of these nations that have US assets. Okay, so for example, here's a chart from the IRS website. And here we can see uh, if, the, if these nations have gift tax or state tax treaties with the United States. So as you can see, the majority of the companies are Western European nations, plus Australia, plus South Africa. Um, but the majority, Japan is, uh, is on this list, but the rest are pretty much Western European nations. Notice our, that our neighbor to the south, Mexico is not on this list. Mexico does not have an estate and gift tax treaty with the US. Canada does, our neighbor to the north. So Canada does have an estate tax treaty with the U.S. Basically, uh, it, it, it treats um, U.S. citizens uh, like, a per, like a U.S. resident, and they have the, the same $11 million exclusion. Okay, so the Canadian estate tax it, it, in Canada, it's basically like a capital gains tax when, it, when the decedent passes away. But... Uh, Again, with Mexico, we do not have an estate tax or a treaty. We do have an income tax treaty with Mexico, but not an estate and gift tax treaty. So the first point of analysis is what, what country does your client come from? And do we have an estate and gift tax treaty with that country that will override the Internal Revenue Code, which are the rules that we're going to be discussing today. Ah, I forgot to mention this earlier. It's very important that, that we pay attention to these treaties nations because Houston, where the majority of y'all are from, I would imagine, I, I read an article several weeks ago about how Houston is the most diverse city in the United States. Houston is the most diverse city in the United States, more than New York, more than Chicago. It is the most diverse city in the United States. So taking that into the account, we have to pay attention. If we have international clients, number one, are there U.S. residents for transfer tax purposes? or not. Number two, do we have a treaty with our home country? And what does that treaty say?